We'll welcome everybody back for some more infra space. Instead of focusing on this area for today, we're going to be making a giant, and I mean giant, infrastructure over here for the construction of microchips and all of that fun stuff. First things first is we do actually need to get to, I think this is actually the edge of the map here, we need to link up, I need to draw a road around 95% of all of these, a quick little one-way road, a uh, two-way road should do completely fine. Quickly do that and that and maybe even, maybe not even, maybe that too. And then do the same for this one. Then get the super fast highway, which I unlocked towards the end of the last episode, and do one straight line right now in the middle, and link this in with the main city, just like so. So that is now linked up to the main city. Hopefully, it is pointing in the right direction. All we got to do now is link. That in there like that. That in there like that. Like that. And like that. Sort of doing it sort of as it was like a slip probe. Next next is uh copper mines. Giving these guys their own networks as well so you get a network you can share one I suppose you get your own network for this one I'm gonna put in two solar panels put them to that and connect that one up there so that obviously makes copper there makes copper there actually call weekly. Actually they can sort of give out to Ooh, where am I going? Not solve that problem. <laughs> Let's put in the rest of the mines. Large iron mine. The iron mine? Yeah. Obviously some of these. Or we are a lot bigger than others. We just unlocked the industrial robot factory. So that is all of the mines in action. And he's obviously building up a big stock of stuff. So we quickly need to replace some of this road. Probably like that much of it. And we're going to put in uh, one side will be It's not straight. Let's quickly make the road. Um. That makes sense to me. Let's do that. Right. 
Let's put in some microchip factory, uh, electronic factories in here. I did also learn that I can just um, shift click. And that works just fine when you can get a steady hand. And then down this side, we want microchips. These obviously you will need power too. So we'll put in one of those and a two of these. Oh no, we've run out of concrete. It shouldn't take too long to get 200 concrete though. We should be fine for that. There we go. Sand is now a bit of an issue, but um, the issue is more because it comes from this direction, not this direction. So the other thing I need to do is obviously put in another straight road, just like that, get in the super fast highway at the end, and just link it up like that with Just like that. And, uh, they need power, but they can obviously get power. Yeah, just about. Should do that just in case and uh, put another one in there and uh, get some more of these mines in. So these take a lot of uh, resources basically 48 concrete each. That should suffice for all of these. So all of those just to make microchips. We now need to do a second part of this road to make the nanotubes, uh, which take. The carbon, sand, and water. So we need to do a another bit of this road. Maybe like that much of the road. And then we need to build yet again a, another road. Just here. And that one can just hit the temp with the normal road. And this is going to have a, for every eight seconds, every two seconds. So we're going to put in a bunch of water things. Like so. And then we should put in the nanotube factories in yeah, they also need carbon, so we can also put in a couple of these carbon factories, which I unlocked at the end of the last episode. That should be plenty of those, and now we can start placing the nanotube batteries on a road that needs to be redone. Right now we can start placing in the nanotube factories. So yeah, I'm going to place in 
are a lot more of these than we actually need. Like so. And then if we look at the the neuroprocessors, which need those nanotubes, microchips, and the sand, we're gonna place in a couple of these here too. Just like so. So they will get all of the sand and the nanotubes and stuff from all the way up here. This is where all the sand will come from. They're not going to be very efficient because we don't actually have a whole lot of people. Which means we need to go back to the... Main part of the city. We actually need more. We need more of those factories. We'll deal with that in a bit. And uh, nanotube factory, where are you? There you are. We shall put another one in there. So that is all the nanotube factories. We are still kind of struggling for those. So I'm actually going to remove these out of existence. Quickly delete that road. Make this road. A little bit straighter and uh, get some more of these in. Like so. I will then take a super fast highway straight to here, to there, and then connect a regular road into here in a moment and I delete that so that connects that all up to there where I can then put in some of these neuro processor buildings just six of those like that and that everything should, in theory, when uh, when we get another 200 concrete, boom. Everything should have power, everything should be all green, all good to go. We should have plenty of sand. We need to increase our population, which means we need going back over here. And uh, expanding our houses uh, yet again. And uh, are we on a range of a park? Yes, you are. No, you're not. We shall build out these roads again. Make sure to keep them nice and straight. Let me just check how far. Demolish that, you, you silly little. Oh, so now I can't move it back because I haven't got enough steel. I haven't got enough concrete. Great. That boosts all that. We can now put in a park uh, here when we get enough concrete. Once again, we need to start producing some more concrete. Despite it saying we've got plenty. Uh, we do need to have a little concrete district area to make some more. That's fine. Um, we'll do that in another episode. Actually, we can do this in episode, this episode. We can just fix everything. That will solve that problem. Right. Concrete. Let's fix the concrete problem. So, to make some concrete, we need uh, sulfur and sand. So, let's go find a large sulfur deposit. Here is some sulfur over here. That seems like a pretty big deposit. Let's build a nice straight road. Not there. This tile. This tile. 
let's go sort of diagonal through the middle and then do another straight road for the sand. Let's put in the large um, sulfur mines. Obviously these need power and stuff, but we're not going to Cycling center is now unlocked. To do that, and put in the we need concrete for this. Funny enough. I'll get all those sulfur mines going. We'll get in some sand mines down here now. What does the cycling center take? Mm. We'll see what it boosts in a moment. Now we need sand mines. I'm going to do so these make a lot of uh, sulfur and these guys make a lot of sand again we need more people but we need houses for that and we need concrete to make houses and all that stuff so it's a big vicious cycle so that's enough of those let's expand the road down to probably about there and, uh, We'll put in a, another one of these with another solar panel once we get another 200 concrete. Steel is like, we're good for steel. Like 10,000 steel. Boom. So that boosts that. Let's get some concrete underway. So it costs eight to do these. So that boosts all of them. They're going to get filled up like crazily fast. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap there. Just for a couple of these. Like I said, these are crazily filling up, so a bit more. Concrete production, yeah, your power, yeah. Yep, all those buildings have power, everything is ready. That will boost our concrete production to no end. And let's quickly find out where this issue is. Okay, we can put in another one. One, two, three. So that is that production. These guys need more carbon, which means we need to go back up to where the carbon is being produced down this line and put some more processes in, which is in this section. No, it's not. It's in this thing. Where is it? Yeah. 
it's in one of the areas. Do some more of those. They are insufficient due to lack of population. Right, next up, people, houses. So the park reaches not particularly far, to be honest with you. So what I need to do is extend. This road, make sure it's nice and straight. And this road, make sure that one's nice and straight too. Uh, this park. You know, I always put the, the start building a road, like midway through moving stuff. And that's going to annoy me if I do not do that. So we'll put the park there. That extends out to there. We shall put a, another park there and a, another park there. The stadium reaches about to the end of the road. So for now, we are all good. So we'll do this. As these obviously expand and upgrade, we need more um, resources. Like so, that gives us enough stuff. These will, uh, over time, obviously expand and grow. They have no power, which would have been a good idea to place. Which is, no, I don't really want to do that. That is that. These guys obviously need more of this. What does, what's said about the recycling sense? What does this um, boost? Oh, it boosts like all of those buildings. Okay, so we've got another mine. We've got a iridium alloy factory um, and iridium mines too. We can build an iridium area too. Put a recycling factory there. Put a recycling factory there. There.
quickly connect these up. Clear that go. This can go like that. That one, and that one. It can go like that. As this one can go like that. These ones back here. You can go. And you can go like that. And that is all those recycling centers in. Obviously, boosts a bunch of stuff, I guess. Do that as well. Uh, build the road. So that boosts a bunch of production skills. Um, industrial waste. Every six rounds, we get used. All use. It gets all used resources back. Ah, that's good. That's really good. We need to put more recycling centers. There we go. Back here. We'll do a, a row. There. And one there. Yeah, they are really good those I don't think they actually like oh, yeah I was gonna so yeah for every six rounds these will So industrial robot automation reduces the workforce requirements by one. But we don't have any industrial robots yet. Every six rounds, all resources will get used and will get back. That is what I wanted. Um, home robots we are now struggling for. Where are my home robot factories? I think they're over here. But uh, I'm going to place some more in. Just going to white like. Maybe like that. But now we're running low on those again. What? Uh, let me just quickly feed two of them. Like that, right. So that is that sorted. These guys are moaning that they don't have any steel. Um, there's also none being delivered because I think all the steel is actually going straight into production elsewhere. So we'll literally just do that. Uh, we can't put that you there though, because that ruins the whole road. So that will uh, hopefully supply this area of steel. Um, if there, if there is actually, so this is my obviously my concrete area, and um, there is um, no iron. There's just sand and 
Oh no, there's there's some iron. So yeah, this this is working really well over here, getting me like tons and tons and tons of concrete. The steel situation is not very good though. I forgot to put that building in. Now all the buildings will be recycling their resources, including this, to be fair. You we do need people though. People are quite a big problem. And uh home robots. Home robots. We are good for all that stuff. We are not good for motors, but the motors are being built slowly. These guys are getting iron. Oh, there's nothing being delivered. Iron wise. Hmm. Oh, I know why. It's because they can't. Super fast highway. Yeah. Delete, delete, delete. Super fast highway. Uh, there. Go. Now they can get iron. Yes? No, no, no. I don't know. They could get copper and stuff because it was coming from the other side. So they can now get copper and they can now get iron. And then I think iron may be lacking in the world. No, we're still making loads of iron. Just motors and stuff. Where are the motors? We're making just enough motors. Not me, or do we need to make a motor? Copper and steel. Hmm. This guy still needs tons and tons and tons of aluminium, and they're, they're being delivered. They're coming in slowly. That's where I'm going to leave today's episode there, guys. I mean, we did a lo load of stuff. We built an entire uh, industrial line that comes here, goes straight into the city, and fixes a whole load of problems with an aluminium factory, which is just crazy. Um, these guys have all their iron just basically just flowing out I'm trying to think why they're not just giving it to the rest of the city I, I guess they are and they they have the ability to they just maybe aren't or it just takes way too long for them to even get any of their resources out and uh, I might even put in a gondola system uh, I just like using the gondola system, to be fair. In fact. So. If we put that there. And then we build one. Sort of. How do I? Right. Let's put one here uh, um, rotate that round and then this one goes to here we'll then grab a ubudubu super hawaii to come out of here and then into here, and then do the same for that to go back in, and then the same for over here. So take a road off of here, goes straight into there, which means a lot of this iron copper, 
all that stuff that's obviously being stored up in here can then go straight down this line here into the controller system and, and down into the city area through this rather small but pretty efficient gondola system. Obviously I did the gondola system so I can then expand it so it can go further in the future and then they'll come rocketing out of here and uh, down into the sea. Upgrade road. It's got to be reversed. But anyway, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Obviously, we did a lot of expansion. We got this entire area over here. We do have any a little bit of power issue at the moment, but other than that, we are good. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys next time. Good. Bye.